Hi, welcome to another tutorial from First in Architecture. Um, in this video, I'm going to show you how to um, set up layout sheets uh, to different scales um, so that you can then print out a drawing that shows off, say, your plans at uh, different scales, um, you know, 1 to 50, 1 to 100, and so on. Um, so, what I've got here is a set of drawings that I've actually downloaded from BiblioCAD which is a great site for CAD blocks and things like that so I recommend you go over there and check it out. Um, so in this I've got some floor plans, some elevations so in order for you to see the whole drawing I'm just going to do a zoom extent so I'm going to press Z for zoom, enter and then I'm going to press E for extents and which will show us the whole drawing. So here you can see there's the plan, the site plan, we've got various different elevations. Um, so what we're going to want to do is try and set up a layout sheet that perhaps has maybe the site plan and then an elevation or whatever. So we can start working on that. So currently I'm in the model space. So this is the area where you edit your drawing. You can, you know, this is the part that you do your drawing in. So in order to set up our layout sheet, we need to move over to our layouts. Now I work on a Mac, um, so the way you see this might be slightly different, but for Mac users, um, you've got two options. You can click on this little model down arrow here, which then you can select your layout. I've already set up some, which I'll show you in a minute. Or you can click on this little button here, um, which shows all the um, shows your model space and then the layout options we've got. So I'm just going to go over to layout one. Now I've got these very basic layouts set up um, which you can download for free from the website. Um, I'll put the link in the notes below on YouTube or um, if you're viewing this from the website itself I'll put the button there for you to download. Um, so this layout sheet uh, basically includes one um, viewport uh, into the model space. So you can see just down here in the corner we've got a, um, a little glimpse of the model inside. So this here is our paper space and the window looking into um, the model here is called the model space. So if I just double click in this viewport you can see now I'm kind of in the model space. Now I can zoom in and out and there we are. It's literally like a little window into the model space. Um, and then if I double click back out again, we're back in paper space. So essentially what we want to do when we're setting up a drawing is create little windows into the model space and each little window can be set up to a different scale. So the windows are viewports, so what we want to do is set up different viewports. So to start with, in order to um, set up a scale of, of a drawing, let's say we want to look at this uh, plan here. Uh, let's try 1 to 100 and see if it fits, it may not fit. Um, so I'm double clicking inside the um, model space and what I'm wanting to do is set a zoom. So to start with I'm going to press Z for zoom and then I'm going to press the scale I want to use. So in this instance I said 1 to 100 didn't I? So let's go 1 and then slash 100 XP and if we press enter that will then zoom in to 1 to 100. Now, as you can see, it's kind of not exactly zoomed to where I want it to be. So if I scroll out, sc scroll in out to find the um, place I want the, the, to find the plan, obviously it's not, it's going to lose its scale. So we need to use the pan tool um, to find the plan that we want to use. And as you can see, it doesn't really fit. So let's do a different zoom. Um, so let's try it at 1 to 200. So I'm going to go zoom, enter, and then I'm going to put 1 slash 200 XP, and that will zoom the drawing out to 1 to 200. That fits quite well. So let's use the pan tool again to just get this up in the corner here, like that. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to double click out of the model space, back into the paper space. So here we've set up a layout sheet with um, our floor plan at 1 to 200. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to resize this viewport um, so that we can fit another drawing in here. I'm just going to move that up a touch. Okay. Okay, so to create a new viewport, what we want to do is um, basically create another rectangle um, that we can then turn into a viewport. There are a few ways of doing it, but I'm going to sh just show you the way that I tend to use. So I'm going to select layer 0 for argument's sake, but what I'd recommend you do is have a special viewport layer. And I'm going to just draw a rectangle, REC for rectangle, and I'm just going to draw that like that. Okay, so if I double click in that rectangle, 
it's not giving me the option to go into the model space. So it hasn't been set up as a viewport yet. We need to do that. So in order to set it up as a viewport, we type M view, which is M V I E W. There you go. Press enter. Now you can see down here is giving us all the different options of um, what to do with this command. I'm not going to bother going through all of these. All you need to know is in this scenario, you want to select an object to, to turn into a viewport. So I'm going to press O for object and press enter. And then I'm going to select the rectangle. And there you go. As you can see, it's now showing the model space. So I'll just run through that again. I'll just quickly undo. So we've drawn a rectangle, double click, nothing's happening. We need to create a viewport out of this. So we're going to type M V I E W M view, enter. And then we are going to press O for object, enter, select our object, which is this rectangle. And there we go. Now, if we double click in this and for whatever reason, you know, you can't see your drawings or something weirds going on, you can zoom extents within your model space um, like I did earlier. So zoom, Z for zoom, enter, E for extents. And there we go, puts it back in the right place. So you can find it sometimes when you're playing around with viewports, you can like, lose your drawing and, and it all goes a bit weird. So zoom extents just gets everything back so you can see what's going on. Um, and that works really well generally. So let's focus in on this, this tiny little drawing here, which is, what is it, a section. Um, and we want to zoom that. Let's try that at 1 to 100 and then possibly 1 to 50. So we want to set the scale for this. So we're wanting to set it to 1 to 100. So we're going to go zoom, enter, and then we're going to go 1 slash 100 XP, enter. Perfect. Could probably squeeze in 150, but let's leave it like that for now. Um, so I'm just going to pan that into the correct place. I'm going to press P for pan, enter. I'm just going to move it up here like that. And then I'm going to double click outside. And then, you know, if you wanted to, you can resize your rectangle so that it sits nicely. And then put your labels underneath and things like that. Another thing that's quite useful to know about these viewports is that you can lock them. So if you're clicking in and out and maybe you're messing around with layers and things like that, which I'll come to in a different video because there's quite a lot to go through on that, you can actually lock it so you don't lose the scale that you've set. Now I'll quickly show you how to do that. It's very straightforward. You select your viewport box. And down here um, on your toolbar you can see a little square with a padlock and you can literally click on that and it locks the viewport. So now if I double click inside the viewport and I'm trying to roll with my um, scroller to zoom in and out, you can see it's not allowing me to scroll in and out of the viewport, it's scrolling the whole layout sheet. So if I just go from, from this viewport to this one, which we haven't locked, if I zoom in and out you can see now I've lost my scale. Um, so locking it is really useful. Um, in cases where you're kind of wanting to go into the model space but not necessarily change the scale. So I'll just put that one back. Z for zoom, 1 slash 200 XP, enter. There we go. I'm just going to pan into the correct place, just like that. And there we go. So we've now set up a layout sheet which has two different drawings on it, both at different scales. And as you can imagine, you can set up multiple drawings with, you know, multiple different details and scales and elevations, etc, etc, all on the one sheet. Well, that was a really quick tutorial on how to set up a layout sheet with uh, different scale drawings on it. Hopefully you found it helpful. Um, in the next couple of videos, I'm going to be looking at um, using different layer combinations uh, within your viewports. Um, we're also going to look at printing in an upcoming tutorial. Um, so there's lots coming up, so thank you for watching this one and hope to see you again soon.